Hello there people of YouTube, this is Joltstar109 and I am back with my reviews and as a comeback to that review I guess we shall all bow down to Lord Megatron. Not really. <laughs> oh if, if, oh, if only, if only. Let me do There we go. Yes, Michelangelo is watching us. Hello there, Mikey. How are you doing today? Anyways, so Megatron, Megatron, Megatronus, the Tron of Megas, and the Megas of Trons, and the guy with the big gun on his friggin' arm, the leader of the Decepticons, it's Megatron. And he is looking mighty fine in his War for Cybertron um, look. Very G1-esque with the helmet look and this iconic gun. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. So let me just move him off to the side and read read up on his story. Okay. Zoom in on it. Okay. Megatron rebuilds himself continuously. When the war first began on Cybertron, he constantly applied new modifications to catch the Autobots unaware and underprepared. His spies are always on the lookout for new tech that will optimize his body into the perfect war machine. He is the bleeding edge of technology on Cybertron, and his enemies will pay the price for not keeping up. That is Megatron. And yes, he has a launching missile, and tank treads convert to hover engines. And his tech specs... Uh, Everything is 10, except Courage, which is 9, and Skill, which is 9. So, relatively powerful, if I do say so myself. So, we're turning tank mode. And there's a pretty good picture of him there. Yes, yes, very nice, very nice, very, very nice. Um, let me zoom out of the way. And so, here's Megatron, in his robot mode. Because he can't package that way, and that's how I'm doing things. Got a problem with it? Con continue on. So, here's Megatron, and yeah, he is mostly red, white, black, and purple. Purple is a Decepticon color. Um, so, yeah, uh, he has this giant, not giant, I would say, more, more like just big Decepticon symbol on his back. It's molded into him. It's like part of him. That's, that's what he is. He's a con. He's a Decepticon. He's the leader of the Decepticons. He has to have that. Just like Optimus does. I think I showed that off in, the, in his review. Anyways, his articulation for Megatron. His head can rotate all the way around, which I don't understand why you want to do that, but it does that. It, he can look down, not up. It has this weird hinge. It's not a ball joint. You can kind of tell it isn't. Um, his arms mm, go out that much. Because of his, the bulk of his shoulders, they go all the way around, um, go up and down like that. Um, his elbow bends. He, he turns at the elbow, but he doesn't. He goes out like this. But that's due to the transformation, and due to that weird joint for the transformation, uh, it makes it a bit awkward posing him, at least in his arms um, sometimes. Um, so yeah, nothing at the hands. Um, that's his hand. I didn't see it. Um, no waist articulation, which I think could have been incorporated. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, not. Uh, hard to tell. I, I, I think I think it could have been because there's nothing much there. It's just molded plastic. I think they could have found a way to do that, um, except for the front piece because it looks like a separate piece of plastic. Anyways, um, get off of the way. His legs go forward, back, out, at. A, Wow, it's kind of tight, never really did that. And they don't go in, but that's fine. Uh, knee turns, bends. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, and his foot goes up, again, for transformation. Back, uh, not much. And tilts slightly. So you can add some extra dynamic posability into this leader of the Decepticons. Like that. Uh, now that's pretty pretty cool if I do say so myself. So, here's his weapon. Let me unplug that from his arm. And here it is. It's relatively big. Um, yeah. 
The trigger is on the top. It's kind of trigger happy, very sensitive. Barely pushed it in it. Freaking fire. This this thing, this thing is a good good missile. Let me let me move my lamp out of the way that it doesn't get hit. Let me just shoot it upwards, see where it is. Oh that wasn't much. I was expecting more propul propulsion out of that. How about if I shoot it from back here? Oh. I guess it wasn't that big of a thing. Also, um, if you noticed, let me put the light back where it belongs. Um, when you reload his weapon, um, you can kind of see. This is awkward. Let me move the missile. Um, you can see there's some translucent bits in his weapon. Now, once you reload this and clip it all the way in, now let me scroll back down. Scroll. Yes, I'm on the computer, Joltster. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because my lighting. Uh, but there is paint there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. It's paint. You can see it right there on this, that one. There's paint there once you reload it, and then once you fire it, it becomes translucent. Come on, focus. Focus. There you go. So yeah, Inter interesting thing there. And that's it for the weapon. So put the missile back in here. Now let's transform him, shall we? I'll well, just might as well remove the weapon. Um you need to do it anyways. Uh first what you want to do uh flail the arms out like that and split them in half. Once they're like this you want to fold in the hand bits inside which do become visible in the vehicle mode, which is a bit of a bummer, but I don't mind because you barely even see them anyways. Um, now you take this chest piece and lower it down, kind of, uh, uh, it, it doesn't really clip it, you just kind of lay, lay it there, and his head, you can fold that down. Um, the back piece, fold that down, and his shoulder bits, let me scroll up, scroll up, why do I keep saying that? There you go. There you go, just fold up the shoulder bits, take this um, black uh, pincer and uh, remove uh, and unplug it and then kind of rotate it so that this giant bit is plugging into here and just kind of situate it like so. And now for the feet, just fold them up like that. And you kind of want to accordion this. It's a bit tricky, but you can manage. You can manage. And just plug. Make sure the legs are folded up nicely. And there are pegs right here. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. You can see right there. It plugs into there. So just do that. And fold that down all the way. There he is in his basic form. And now I just want to take the weapon. There is a hole right here and a tab on his back. And just line it up. And boom. There he is in tank mode. Now, um, it's a tank. What do you want to say? A freaking tank that can hover. Look at that. Mm, it hovers now. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, but yeah, it did. <sighs> Excuse me, I like it. Come on, comfortable. Um, it did do that in the game, as far as I know. I never played the game, and I really did wish I could, but I don't have a PS3. So, me. I'm a, I'm a PlayStation dude. I'm not really Xbox. Sorry for all the Xbox fans out there, but I'm just not. Not effective. Yeah, I'm not one myself. Um. Anyways, yeah, that this is him. Um. Now, as far as I can tell, um, this is pretty accurate to the game. I have seen gameplay footage, and like just the way it looked in the game, and this is relatively close. I don't, I don't know about follow Cybertron vehicle mode. I don't know about that. I have seen. Uh, quick glimpses of it. I do know it has like more spikes in the back or along the sides. I don't remember. I haven't seen a very good look at it. Um, but yeah, that's him in vehicle mode. Um, when when the treads are flipped out like this, they have wheels. But you know, as all tanks, 
all tank transformers that they, they don't roll very well, so I can't really show you that. And the missile still fires. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. Just that the tank, it's white, black, red, and purple. And the shoes. It, it shoes, yeah. It shoots missiles. Purple translucent missiles that fall to the ground. And I don't see it. Where'd it go? Where did it go? Ugh. I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, which one? What? No. Ow. Okay. Alright, I got it. What did I? Oh, <laughs> I stepped on something. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's a, another 360 of it. Actually, I did like five times already. Yeah, not pretty much. Uh, there it is in the bottom. Um, the reason the head, um, from what I've seen, uh, my own uh, figure here, um, when the head is like this, the the, the tank, uh, if you if you notice, it leans down some. You, uh, I, I can't really notice it because the way the way the camera's angled. But if you can see that, so the tank moves up and down. Uh, when the head, see the head's not um, folded down. When it's folded down. Oh, it still does that. Oh, what the heck? It was just me. I could have sworn that did something. Oh, dang it! That <laughs> just that flew across the room. Um. Oh, never mind. I guess it was just me. My gosh, I thought that did something. I could have sworn it did. Well, this doesn't matter. But yeah, there he is in his hover mode with an empty missile. Oh yeah. So to transform him back. Ow. Relatively simple, just take the legs here and fold them up and out like that. Might as well fold out the hands since they're exposed. It's kind of hard to do if you don't have nails, which I do. Off the bottom, it never has any nails. I don't understand why. Um, and then just flip, flick it together like that. And then unplug. Plug in the arms. Unplug this front pit and put it down like that. Undo the arms. Flip down the feet so that I cannot be in this awkward position that I am in. I'm trying to scoot up. Okay. Flip up the head. Sorry if I'm doing a little bit uh, lousy of a review. I haven't done a review in a long time due to a whole bunch of crap that's been going on in my life. Um, all right, now just flip up the back section, flip up the front section, take the weapon, I will get the missile later, and plug it in and pose him for his epic blast off to Victory! I did not mean that pun. If you know what I mean. And there he is, people of YouTube. Megatron, back in his robot mode. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it from Megatron. Megatronus. Um, I've already done an Optimus Prime review from the War for Cybertron line. Um, go check that out. Um, might be a little bit weird. I've done that over a year ago, I think. I think my dog shows up in it. Oh yeah, it does. Wow. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the review. I will be doing more reviews um, shortly, so stay tuned for that. Later.